Hello, welcome to chapter 25 again. This is the final part already. Final, final. So you learn about X-ray. Now you are going to learn of how to use this X-ray, moving X-ray, in a pretty fancy technology. Okay, Miss Lee, what is this device that we're looking at? So if you think about a regular X-ray image that you have seen, although with good contrast and superb technique, it is still a 2D image. And sometimes 2D image is not enough because if you are breaking a bone, let's say you're breaking a complicated bone structure. So a finger is a simpler bone structure. The most complicated bone that you have in your body is your pelvis because it is tilted as a bow-like structure. It is the joints ties to your ties to your legs. So all of this is very important to your mobility. But let's say something bad were to happen to you. Maybe this person had a injury, he had a bad fall, or he fell fall off a motorcycle. Don't let this chill post deceive you, okay? Accident. So he goes he goes for he goes for a scan. We need 3D image to create slices across his body so that we understand at which angle the fracture happens to allow the doctor to heal him better using screws or using certain splints. Right? So we are going to create many, many images of slices of his pelvic bone structure to look and understand what is actually happening and where this person is injured. So here is an image that I took a database from the, the online free database where anyone can download and do studies on scans of people's body. So here we are looking at a slice of this fella somewhere around the, looks like the stomach area, the hip, a little bit higher because you see the fella's hands the hands, the two big things, these are the hands. So we just basically take a knife and cut across the fella already. So now I can do this in this software where I am moving downwards towards his legs. So I can move down, down, down. Ah, no more hands already. Oh. Move down some more. Long. So you see, oh, can see different part in the body. This guy is a, it's a guy, right? Yeah, it's a guy. Got some cancer somewhere. I do not know how to find it. Uh, some kind of rectal cancer. So I suppose somewhere here but this is the backbone ah you can see white color white color is bone they keep going down wow why got so many things everywhere one don't know ask the doctor lor. if you ever become a medical person uh, that's what you can see you see oh, the bowl what? of the pelvis oh this shape ah mm, this is the bowl let's change the, the contrast bowl. a bit so Ooh, we can so we see can the see bone mm, mm. there we go so this is the hip that allows you to walk around you are sitting down right now on your butt you're sitting down on this bone. Okay, mm -hmm. it's a pretty complicated bone structure. If there's a hip fracture, we want a better way to look at it. This is a good example. Or if, let's say, there's cancer in the body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Miss Lee, are you satisfied with the yes. scan or you want to go lower in the slice? I mean, let's go as low as we okay, can. Okay, okay, sure. Let's see. So go, go, go. Then, oi, no more no more pelvis now. So you see all this muscle, muscle. We oh, can see the large intestine here. Look. Or is this poop? Hmm. I have no idea. I don't. <laughs> in the large intestine. <laughs> okay, we don't know. Okay, so I yeah, go be a doctor now. So we're going down. Now we are in the the nearing the bone area already. Yeah. So you see you these are the, see the legs, the fibula and the tibia. So the large bone and the smaller bone of your thighs. Keep going. Yeah, mm -hmm. down, down to the bone. Mm. Oh, you can mm. only see one. Of... Mm. Okay, well, I think is this where we end? Oh, you can see the. What's this called? The rectal? No. What's it called? The butthole? Anus, anus. Anus! Ah, I just... Okay, anus. Anus, and yeah. then now the two legs go some more. Ah, here, private part. Scotrum, pe mm. scotrum, penis, go down some more. Down mm. all the leg already, you know? So that's the mm. whole scan from body down. And it's pretty cool because you can see everything. Bones and muscle and everything that is in between. Like water, yeah, I guess. And we can adjust the contrast as well. Yep, so that is how you are slicing through this person's body. So we have looked at the CT scan image, and this is how we can create this using a rotating X-ray source. But before we talk about other exciting stuff, we need to actually write down the word working principle. You are expected to be able to explain what exactly is happening and how we use X-ray to create that image. Mm. So the first thing that you notice that we have this rotating X-ray source, and this is the hallmark of this CT scan. Okay, you have something that is rotating. In MRI, nothing is rotating, but they got resonance. This one, there's rotation. So this uh, X -ray, rotating X-ray will create an X-ray beam that will shoot out this way to scan the body. Okay, so, sh so the X-ray will penetrate through the body 
And depending on whether the line, let's say for example, if you look at this angle of penetration, whether this angle of penetration got bone, got muscle, whatever, the detector down here will have a different intensity. So this is our detector. Mm -hmm. And the X-ray source and the detector are always opposite with each other. You shoot out the X-ray, detector detect. And then this rotating X-ray will then maybe rotate here. And then the detector will now be here. And then they will take another image, another fan-shaped image. Mm -hmm. So there's many, many rotations. Every rotation, we will take a reading, rotate, take a reading, rotate, take a reading. And we put all of this together inside a computer to create a 3D image that you see just now. So we actually need computers to help us. That's why it's computer... Computer... computer. Tomography, CT scan, okay, C and T. All right, so we're going to write that understanding down inside this part where we will talk about the working principle. Normally, in an essay question, this would be about five marks. All right, of always marks. start with the hallmark characteristic. You are going to take repeated photos by rotating an X-ray. So here we will start by the X-ray of a slice or a section through the patient is taken repeatedly. You rotate, rotate, rotate. So we are taking it repeatedly at different angles by rotating. Rotating our X-ray source and detector. Okay, so because this is a computed tomography, so a computer is used to combine and give 2D image of the slice. So just now when you look at the uh, video or the front part where we show you the different slices of the pelvis, it's, it, it may look like we are showing you a slideshow. So we show you this, this, this part of the body and then we go down and then we go down. So these are all the two-dimensional image. But if we put it together, and we repeat it for successive slices. So when we say repeat, uh, it means that this motorized platform will travel down a bit. So this, this platform will go down a bit and then now scan slightly above. Wherever this one is scanning, it will scan slightly above and then go down a bit, it will keep scanning. Lah. So basically we will scan maybe from the knee up all the way to his waist, which was the image that you saw just now. Yep. So this is repeated for many, many different slices. So this is repeated for successive slices to build up to a three-dimensional image, 3D image. And point number four, we will, because we have this inside a computer, the 3D image that we have can be viewed from different angles and rotated. So it allows you the flexibility to actually look at the bone structure properly or the body structure properly without actually really slicing into the patient. We want this virtual slicing to create image. We don't want to real slice. Okay? Cannot real slice. No, no, no. So the working principle, make sure you cover these three points. And you see uh, the essay question, it will come out many, many years one if you look at the past year questions. If they come out, just remember the hallmark for a CT scan is number one, you have a rotating X. Whoa, where's my X-ray? Rotating X-ray source and a rotating detector. We, you don't have to follow my sentence. Just make sure you cover the important point. So by a rotating X-ray source and detector, X-rays of different slice is taken repeatedly at different angles. Now you have many, many sections. We're going to combine it to give you a 2D image. For many, many slices, combine it to give you a 3D image. Then we can look at it at different angles. But how does it happen? And what is combined? And what happens in the computer? We're going to jump to the next part to understand how to develop the Im how the image is scanned and how it's developed inside the computer. So grab a piece of paper, a pencil, and work along with us for this next part.